Welcome to this tutorial for our InnerWorks programming environment. For this tutorial, we are going to assign three already created variables in our user program to the Modbus TCP server, so that when our program is running, an external Modbus TCP client can have access to this data. Here are the variables we set up. Variable X, variable Y, and variable Z. Please note the data types for each one. Please also note that Modbus holding registers are integer based. If we are assigning a variable with an integer data type, then the variable will utilize one holding register. If our variable is of a double integer data type, it will require two holding registers. From the resources tree, under networks, and under Modbus TCP, click server. This opens up the Modbus TCP server configuration dialog window. Click the Add Variable button. This will open up our Variables table. We are going to click the checkbox for Variable X, and then click the Select button. Back at the Server Configuration dialog window, we can see that Variable X has been added and that it has been assigned to Modbus Holding Register Address 0. We can also see that because the data type for Variable X is integer, the register count is 1. Click the Add Variable button again to select the next variable. Please note that Uriable Y is of data type double integer. Click the checkbox for variable Y and click Select. Back at the Server Configuration dialog window, we can see that variable Y was added, but it defaults to address 0. We need to change this to holding register address 1. Click Set Address button and enter 1 and then click Accept. Now we can see that variable Y has been assigned to holding register 1 and that the holding register count for this variable is 2 because it is a double integer data type. Click the Add Variable button again to select the next variable. Please note that variable Z is of data type integer. Click the checkbox for variable Z and click Select. Back at the server configuration dialog window, we can see that variable Z was added, but it defaults to address 0. We need to change this to holding register address 3. This is because our previous variable was a double integer and its data will occupy holding register addresses 1 and 2. Click set address button and enter a 3, and then click accept. We have now configured the Modbus TCP server for our three variables. After you download your user program to your target, your external Modbus TCP client connected to the target's network can issue Modbus function codes for reading and writing for holding register addresses 0, 1, and 3. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Please visit us at cardinalkinetic.com for more information.